Uh, let's talk to James Dellingpole. Hello, James. Hi, how are you doing, Richard? Yes, good, thank you. How are you? Yeah. Uh, you have a book which is uh, Watermelons, How Environmentalists Are Killing the Planet, Destroying the Economy and Stealing Your Children's Future. Um, uh, <laughs> a not unprovocative title. An understated, <laughs> characteristically understated, I'd say. Richard, yeah, well, yeah. How, what, how do you describe yourself on your Twitter profile? What, just, what, being right about everything? That's I mean, it. That, that bit, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, By the way, I wanted to thank you for, for amending your description of me. I think earlier on in your programme, when you were flagging this, you talked about be, me as being a denier. Um, and now you've amended it to sceptic, for which much thanks. Because, you know, I mean, what am I denying? I'm not denying that climate changes. I think everyone believes that climate changes over, over history and has done since the dawn of time. Well, I suppose you're denying that uh, the evidence point towards man-made climate change. Yeah, and, and in that sense, I have a lot of support from some of the uh, world's leading scientists, so I, I don't feel at all coy about that position. I think that the, the evidence is very much um, against uh, Al Gore and uh, his chums at the IPCC. You know, the, uh, the, there has been no significant global warming since uh, 1998, which Ooh. represents a bit of a problem for those people who say that there is a, uh, an inextricable link between man-made carbon emissions and, um, and uh, global warming. Yeah, I mean, there's obviously a few things to pick up on there. I mean, first of all, as I understand it, James, 97% of mainstream scientists involved in climate change, that is, those that publish papers about climate change, believe that uh, man-made climate change is real. They accept that the climate changes naturally, mm. but they believe that man contributes to it and that that could be dangerous. And have you ever wondered where that 97% um, that, uh, figure comes from? Have you, have you checked up the source of that? Uh, I have not. No, I've no, you haven't. Because it could be quite embarrassing if, for you if you had. Um, that that comes from the University of Illinois uh, in 2009 surveyed 10,257 Earth scientists. They decided that they wouldn't they wouldn't listen to anyone to do with um, solar scientists, space scientists, cosmologists, physicists, meteorologists, astronomers. They they decided to stick to Earth scientists. Okay, now the response to that survey was pretty disappointing. Only about a third of the people responded, and even then they didn't respond in a way that was satisfying to their to their sort of extreme claim about how many scientists agree with this thing. So they eventually narrowed down that figure to. Um, 77 scientists. That, that, that figure is taken from just 77 scientists, 75% of whom, so, sorry, 75 of whom thought humans contributed to climate change. Uh, and from that, they extrapolated this 97% figure, which is rep uh, repeated as no ad nauseam, you know, by people who don't know any better, y you included, I'm afraid. Uh, let me tell you what those scientists were asked. They were asked, the first question was, when compared with pre-1800s levels, do you think that mean global temperatures have generally risen, fallen, or remained relatively constant? Well, I think most people in the world who know about the subject would agree that there has been global warming since 1850. World temperatures have gone up by about 0.8 degrees centigrade. The second part of the question was, do you think human activity is a significant contributing factor? Well, again, I mean, we, there's no question we humans do make a small con contribution to to uh, climate change you know how well for example in in the cities there's something called the urban heat island effect you know it is warmer in manchester and london whatever than it is in the outlying countryside the, the, i mean i th this figure of 97 percent um I, I i don't know i don't know if what you say is correct i don't know exactly where that figure comes well, from take a but what I, but what I, well well what i understand uh, from articles that I have read, which are many, from scientists that I've spoken to, is that whether it's 97% or not, that mainstream scientists concerned with climate change, that a comfortable majority believe that man contributes to climate change. Do you, do you accept that in the last four decades, in the last four decades, that temperatures have risen? Oh, listen... I've said that, that, that since 1850, we've uh, uh, the world has been coming out of something called the Little Ice Age, uh, and and temperatures have risen over that period by 0.8 degrees centigrade. And more which markedly is, so which in is, the last four decades. No, no. Um, the the uh, uh, the increase in temperatures in the last four decades has been uh, replicated in periods throughout history. The, the, there was nothing unprecedented or catastrophic. But if or, those or 150 unusual. years. 
Has the temperature gone up more in the last four decades than in the previous decades? Um, over that 150 no, the, year the temperature period? has gone up and down over over periods. Um, there have been far steeper increases in in in, in uh, global temperatures before people were driving around in four by fours, before people were flying around in aeroplanes. You know, I mean, in the medieval warm period, that it was warmer doesn't, than I it don't, is now. I, 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 in in, the, in the, the Roman times, it was warmer than it is now. There's you know, no way you can... Uh, the, the, the medi- I'm, I know about the, the, the medieval warming period. Well, not enough. Yeah. Clearly, you, it was your... You, 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 if, you if cannot you know for certain. You cannot know for certain what the temperature was during that period. No, this planet. is part of the problem that that, that um, paleoclimatography is an inexact science. Well, you've just that, stated as been, a fact that it was hotter been, during the medieval the warming general, period. The general agreement among among paleoclimatologists well, is that yes, uh, if you examine the totality of papers on the subject, the general consensus is, insofar as it's possible to have a consensus in science, that yes, in medieval times it was warmer than it is now. So now you're same, happy to go with the consensus? No, I'm saying, I, I use the phrase, if you remember, in so far as it's possible to have a consensus. Well, you didn't. Science. You didn't. A moment ago, know, you no, said Richard, it was hotter Richard, during the medieval warming period. Phrase. There was I no said, caveat. In, I said, in so far as it's possible to judge, yes, it was warmer in medieval times than it was now. But but I, I would add, and and you would know this, Richard, if you if you'd actually bothered to read the book that I sent you at the weekend, that that science does not advance by consensus. The notion that 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 Al Gore and his scientists at the IPCC uh, are, are the keepers of of uh, immutable truth about climate change is a nonsense. Mm. You know, science does not advance through consensus. You know, if you'd asked yeah. people in the, up till the 1980s, if you'd asked doctors, what is it that causes stomach ulcers? They they would all have said to a man or woman, they'd have said stomach ulcers are caused by stress. And then two Australians theorised that maybe they, stomach ulcers were caused by something else, that maybe, maybe they were caused by a bacteria called Helicobacter pylori. So one of them swallowed a Petri dish full of this stuff and sure enough developed a, a, a stomach ulcer. And thereafter, uh, he, they won the Nobel Prize. There was a paradigm shift in the thinking. Mm. The science is not settled. So, you know... Uh, it worked for a while, this theory that anthropogenic CO2 was contributing to catastrophic global warming. It has not been borne out by the observed data since, as you would know, does, if, does, you, if you'd bothered reading the book, which has got about 40 pages of footnotes explaining all this. OK, I, I have read much of your book, and it includes an attack on the Royal Society for jumping on yeah. the bandwagon yeah. uh, with, uh, without a thought as to whether the underlying science supports the bandwagon, yeah. the bandwagon being that man contributes to climate change. Yeah. Now, where is your evidence that the Royal Society did not give a single thought to the science that supports How, well, the climate change theory? Because under the last three uh, presidents of the uh, Royal Society, culminating in, in uh, Sir Paul Nurse, the, uh, the Royal Society dropped it, abandons it, its traditional standards of, of, of not taking a particular position on issues because it recognised for... for uh, uh, for reasons we've already discussed, that science does not advance by consensus. But, so, you know, so, so the Royal Society. Where is your evidence that they didn't give a thought to the science uh, that supports climate change well, theory? Well, if you'd read the recent report commissioned by the Global Warming Policy Foundation, you would you would know that that the the Royal Society has taken an explicitly political position uh, on on something which is still very much up for debate. And I think that... Where the, the, is your the, evidence the, the, that they didn't give a thought to the science that supports climate change theory? Um, I think I was quoting the GWPF report on on, on the matter. You know, uh, there, was, there, was, there was countless um, evidence to demonstrate that, that Sir Paul Nurse and his predecessors, uh, Lord Rees and Lord, Lord May, were great believers in... in uh, I suppose you call it the great green green religion. They they believed in in, in climate change as, an, uh, as many do, and I, I I sense you do too, as an article of religious faith. You know, it's a big subject. Um, uh, climate change. You know, it yeah. embraces all kinds of scientific disciplines, and it ill behoves somebody like uh, Paul Nurse, who is um, whose whose speciality is in genetics, and that's fine. He's done a very good job. He's won a Nobel Prize, but as he demonstrated on a Horizon uh, TV. A program recently, he doesn't actually know the facts, all the facts, because if he did, he wouldn't have made 
elementary glaring mistakes such as he did on his program uh, about anthropogenic co2 i don't know whether he made those mistakes and he, uh, well, he may you well keep, challenge you, I mean, keep you, denying, you keep uh, denying that, that you know i don't know about the fact about the 75 scientists i'm telling you you know the evidence is out there you can look it up on the in- in- internet you can look up about the university of illinois you can look up about the mistake that the poor nurse made it's no it's no good sort of distancing yourself from the facts well that's you call all them i try facts. to do. these yeah. facts are disputed uh, i was reading Richard, about there was a study, I think there was a study in America funded partly by climate change sceptics last year that came out to conclude that large, that, that, that concluded that climate change is partly man-made. I mean, yeah. it depends which study uh, you Richard, read. Richard, Richard, nobody, we've already agreed that there is an anthropogenic, that is a man-made contribution to climate change, but it is tiny. You know, the science... The, the, 20 years ago, when it was when it, we were still in a, in a warming period, it, it made some kind of sense that, you know, oh, look, it's getting warmer. The, summer, the, the summers are hotter. Gosh, it's hot. And, and look, at the, look at the melting ice caps and, uh, and uh, oh, look at the, uh, the poor polar bears. But unfortunately, things change. Evidence emerges. New evidence emerges. There has no, no new evidence has emerged to support the IPCC's scaremongering claims, which represents a bit of a problem if, you're, if you believe in the great global warming religion and now we look let me let me ask you this i mean it seems for you it seems to be an intensely political issue and and for you, you it's a religious issue you believe it not, as act of faith it's not a religious issue you know you described me, me uh, earlier on as a denier i mean where did you get that idea that 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 there are these people out there who deny that climate changes everyone agrees all people like me are arguing all people like me are arguing is that it's really important that we looked at actual real-world data, the hard evidence, and yeah. not commit the global economy to these disastrous measures like in, like in, wind farms, solar panels, which are ruining... Solar, I mean, wind, wind farms alone are going to, in the next... Uh, up, uh, up until 2020, are going to add £120 billion to our energy bills. That, that is a problem if they've, these things have been built, ruining the landscape in the process, and they're actually contributing nothing to... Uh, no environmental benefits whatsoever. Okay. Do you think uh, there is uh, any chance at all that scientists, the scientists who believe that, uh, that you believe that scientists might be right? That the I'm, scientists gl- I'm glad you, you adjusted your position there, where, uh, rather than using that that awful BBC phrase, "the scientists," as yeah. though there was this kind of monolithic mm-hmm. view. Let me tell you what. There's a guy called the Richard- scientists you're in dispute with. Is there any chance at all? that they might be right. Is there any chance? Let me tell you what... Have you heard of, heard of Professor Richard Lindzen? He's a professor in atmospheres, oceans and climate at, at uh, Massachusetts in- Institute of Technology. He's, 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 he's pretty good at his stuff. He says, uh, the evidence is that the increase in CO2 will lead to very little warming and that the connection of this minimal war- warming to the purported catastrophes is also minimal. The arguments on which the catastrophic claims are made are extremely weak and commonly acknowledged as such. They are sometimes overtly dishonest. So there are, there are many serious scientists out there uh, who, who dispute th- uh, the claims of the IPCC. Uh, I, well, I spoke to a professor of climate very... science uh, earlier today, well, called Chris Rapley. Good, good for saying, you. But well, we Chris... can all quote different scientists, well, James. Yeah, yeah, you don't exactly. win an argument that, by quoting an individual is, scientist. That is the problem. I, I'm asking you a simple question here. Yes. The scientists that you are in dispute with, which, according to which many people believe... Uh, yeah, many people reckon without people knowing reckon, about right. where, where that, that figure came, that 97% okay, junk figure. Okay, but maybe reckon there's a majority opinion on this amongst the mainstream scientific community yeah, 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 concerned right. with climate change. You can claim that, it, mate. I'm not claiming, I'm saying that many people believe that. It's, yeah, like, it's yeah, how I, I know, phrased it. Exactly. I can many make the people, claim that many people believe it because many people and, do. And you know what else? Many people believe that the polar bear is in danger, despite the fact that in the last 50 years, the polar bear population has increased from 5,000 to 25,000. That doesn't sound like to me a species in danger. That sounds like an infestation. So there's all these junk science facts. Uh, Just I let use me the come word- back to my question, which you haven't answered. Is there any chance at all that scientists, the scientists that you're in dispute with, let's phrase it like that, yeah. that they might be right. The, what, you mean, is there going to be catastrophic warming in, the, uh, the, uh, in our lifetime? I'm asking you, is there any chance well, right that they about, might be right? Richard, right about what? Right about their predictions. Well, the, uh, what, what predictions? Get, get more specific. I can't tell you whether they're 